Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the player ratings, the first player ratings of the season. Obviously, we're all very disappointed in the 1 0 defeat tonight to Chelsea. I must admit, I'm more. Um, more annoyed. Well, annoyed is that the disappointed, obviously, in the in the injuries. Um, ben Godfrey has uh, broke a bone, and Yerimina looks like it could be a really uh, bad one as well. Um, Everton for you, though, isn't it? That is Everton for you in a nutshell. It only took eleven minutes. Um, for the injury to Ben Godfrey, and then Yeri Mina got one in the second half, um, and it just makes you laugh, isn't it? When you one one minute everyone's talking about oh, why do we need a new centre back, and we've got this and that, and it's just like one game, one game, and we need hundred percent need another centre back, and we won't be able to get rid of another centre back to bring any make any money back, so. Um, it's just, it, as the manager said, it rains, it pours. Um, but listen, not not the worst game in the world. Pretty similar to last season. Unfortunately, without having a goal scorer in the team, what are you going to do? So, um, the, the the way we played was pretty similar to last season. Just, just don't have a goal scorer. You haven't got a goal scorer or a focal point in your team. It makes it really, really difficult to play. To both teams today, you know they they they've got a player up front who plays more often than not, so he is their striker. But they were they were pretty toothless as well. You know, a penalty um, has separated the two teams. So it's just more Ben Godfrey's injury was just more the way it came, the ball going out of play. You know. Pickford kicking it back into play and just, you know, just a collection of errors lead to him literally falling on top of his own ankle or, or leg. And um, it's just, and then, you know, the way they got the penalty as well, a free kick, that wasn't a free kick, led to the penalty in the last minute of eight minutes of injury time. The whole thing, it was just a mad game, you know. A policeman running on the pitch during the game because of an because of obviously a, a, an incident in the crowd with a somebody obviously um, health wise. It's just, oh, it's just um, you know ten minutes injury time. <laughs> it's just mad. All those subs. Oh my god! How much injury time are we gonna have as well now because of all the subs? It's just like it's just mental. Absolutely mental. The game's just gone crazy. It really has. It's just gone crazy. Let's get into the player ratings. Jordan Pickford. I thought Jordan was dodgy all game. I must admit, you know, he made a save in the first half, which he pushed it straight out of stair, and luckily enough, he was offside. There was another one he punched um, straight to one of their players. There was just moments in the game where he just... He just looked a little bit erratic. He looked a little bit erratic in pre-season. He's really got to pick that up because the way the way you know, even that one when the ball the ball went out. What are you What are you doing? Kicking it? The ball's gone out. What are you doing? I I just thought he looked all over the place today. And there was one in the second half late on where he gets the ball and he's coming out with it and it gets it gets taken off him. Um, and I think someone brought the, their player down. Just little things today. He needs to. He needs to get. He needs to get back on it. Um, so I, I've given him a five and a half because I just. I just thought it's. Sp he's the captain. It spreads from him at times. Even though defensively we were we looked pretty sound today. I thought he looked a little bit lost on corners as well. I thought he looked a little bit lost amongst a lot of lot of tall players. Um, so yeah. Um, Nathan Patterson, obviously first star for him in the Premier League, couldn't couldn't really I think couldn't really do what he wanted to do in terms of going forward. Um, was tough at times, just the way they played. They were obviously had a lot of the ball, and they were going to be the ones, you know, take going forward, taking us on, um, rather than him getting loads of joy um, the other way. 
So it was it was tough. I thought he did all right. Um, not nothing nothing brilliant, but I thought he did okay. Um, it's gonna take time. Don't forget that was his first first Premier League game today. So that has to be remembered. Um, his first minute as a Premier League player. So you've got to you've got to take that into account when you look at it. But he did all right. He, listen, he was mo. He's strong. He likes a tackle clearly. Um, at times, his defending is a little bit. Well, he he allows players to get back past them. I think a little bit too easy. I think that has definitely got to be worked on as we go forward. Um, but I think, I think, I think he's definitely got the right attributes to play in. You know, the determination and listen. It's not easy. It took look at look at on the other side how sort of ropey Michalenko was when he came in. It took him a little time. It'll take time for him to truly settled down so he did all right it was a decent premier league day before him i've given him a six he can definitely improve i think it was a baptism of fire because of the players he was playing against today he was playing against very very good players chelsea have a lot of movement they try and move you move you around a lot so it was it was a tough game for him um on the other side michelenko again tough day for him not not vintage well, vintage, whatever that is, um, performance. I thought he got into some, early on, got into some really good crossing areas, um, but obviously without having without having players in the box, again, brought it back, and we sort of started again on the edge of the box. Uh, again, he's another one. He's, he's strong in the tackle. And he lacks, he still, obviously lacks a little bit, well, not a little bit, he lacks quality, I think, on the ball at times. Um, but he's always uh, he's he's when the opposition have the ball, I always fancy him actually. I always fancy him to win it back. Certainly around the edge of the box. So he was all right today. I've given again. I've given him a six. So so we'd like to see more out of those two. We'd like to see more um, of them getting forward. But today it wasn't that kind of day. Today was it? Today it was about having getting back into shape. Getting having five at the back at times. Stop closing all the gaps and making it hard for Chelsea. And you know what? Most of the time we did that. It was just one moment on the penalty where we allowed the the lad to get the other side of us. They played a good ball into him, and, and the next minute it's a penalty. So um, those two certainly played the part. Um, centre backs: James Tarkowski. I thought had a really solid game. Looks exactly what we need. I thought on corners, I thought we dealt with them really, really well. And he was a big part of that. He was talking all the time. He was organising all the time. He was trying to get those crossfield passes in as much as he could. I thought he looked I thought he looked um looked looked like he'd been an Everton player for for a long time today. He just come back in, he comes straight in and I thought he was I thought he was solid. Um and as I said, he's a leader at the back, and he, we're going to need that leader because um, we're going to need that leadership at the back with with the, with what looks like again next week going to have a completely back th- different back three because of the two injuries. So we're going to need someone who is an ever present, someone who play who you can rely on. And I thought today he was he was he was fantastic for his for his first game. He just straight into the team, no issues. Um, I've given him seven and a half. I thought he did. I thought he did really well. Um, and long may that continue. And we're going to need more of that. And it'll be interesting now with the injuries whether we do go in for Connor Cody with the injuries to Yeri Mina and Ben Godfrey. So we'll have to we'll have to see. Yeri himself, I thought. I thought he looked like he was playing sort of second fiddle to to um, Tarkowski today in terms of leadership and stuff but that's fine that's that wasn't an issue um dealt dealt quite well with a lot of the set pieces a lot of their movements got some good blocks in it's just in the second half he just picks up an injury and pff, looks like he was really really struggling to be honest um you know you don't even think he could walk around the walk around the pitch um because his because of the you know because of the because of the issues he, he he picked up, it was a it was a real strange one. It seemed to come from nowhere. 
but he'd done fine during the game. I've given him six and a half. I thought he, I thought he, he uh, I thought he coped really well. I thought he was up for it. Had his own, as had his own little moments. Um, so again, it's a bad one because when Yeri goes, you know it's going to be a while. Um, and I think Everton have to look now and think right. And if Connor Cody is available, and obviously did, don't think he started for for Wolves today. If he is available then it might just be the sensible option to go and get him. Um, unless you want to see Michael Keane playing every single week. And Ben Godfrey, I mean, again, Ben Godfrey, it's, he's going to be out for months, isn't he? He's going to be out for months. So, and he's our pace. Um, he's our pace at the back. He's that little bit of strength. He's the one that, when he got injured, I was thinking, you know, he's the one you want He's, there's no one exactly like him, and that makes it tough um, to replace him. So, strange injury. I mean, what can I get? give him a six? I'm being nice there, but what can you say? He's going to be out for a while. It, last season was interrupted with injuries. You just hope it's not more than... If it's just a bone, then that you can come back from that quite quickly nowadays. You just hope there's not other issues. I've seen the video of it, and the the way he falls on it is horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, and you just hope that it's not more than you know with all the ligaments and everything, because um, they are really they're the real issue. They're the real real issue um, with that kind of thing. So let's hope it's not more complicated. Than, it's, than it needs to be. But I can't imagine he's going to be back this year because obviously the break in November, I just can't see it. I just can't see it at all. So, Because it really, really looked like it was a really, real bad one. So, as I said, we've got, we've got that six weeks, November into December. So, who knows, who knows. We don't, we, we're going to need more on this and they're going to need more, more on this. They're going to need the... They're gonna to have to need. They're gonna to have to find out what the severity of it was. Uh, in some midfield, uh, obviously it was Alex Awobi and Decore. Uh, it wasn't the easiest task for them two today. Um, and obviously it looks like there could be people coming into. But well, certainly on Onan is definitely signed, hasn't he? he? Was there today? I think Frank Lampard's basically confirmed that he signed anyway. Or even though the club haven't yet, but the club uh, he's basically confirmed that he was in the stands. Lots of pitches and things with people, so he's definitely in. But of course, he's not. He's going to take a little. He's going to take a little bit of time to settle. So, um, and obviously Garner, hopefully to get that sorted as well in the next few days. So, um, but I, listen, I will be in the Corey in terms of trying to break that, break the plate down, and and um, keep with. Chelsea's movements. I think they did quite well. I just think it, it was in terms of keeping hold of the ball and the passes, certainly with the core. Eh? But Awobi, I thought, did fine. I thought he had a decent game. I've given him a seven. Not easy in there. It's not his natural position. A lot of last season he was playing over on the right. Um, and, and today wasn't about creativity for him. Today was about doing his job, and I thought he did do his job quite well um, in there. Nothing spectacular, he just got on with the job. Um, the core may be a little bit less so, just because his passing at times did let him down. I've given him a six and a half. At times he did, there was a lack of, a lack of you know, there were times where he had opportunities and he never quite took them. But it was hard for both of them. They were completely outnumbered in there. You know, Chelsea was swarming all over us. It's a thankless task playing in there. You've got to have a he your head on a swivel. You've got to be following your runners. It's a really, really tough job. And there was no out ball either. There was no real out ball. Maybe three or four times we put it over the top. Um, but, um, yeah, so it, it was a difficult day for them. Um, the top end of the pitch. Listen, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think it worked today. I don't think... Dwight McNeil, Andy Gordon, and the Mighty Gray worked at all today. Um, I thought Dwight McNeil, there was just no space for him. He kept on trying to get it onto that left foot to go inside, and there was nowhere to go. 
I thought Anthony Gordon was like a headless chicken at times. I mean, the penalty comes starts w- with him on the left hand side with trying to beat a man and he just stops and loses the ball and it comes back and it's in those positions where you need someone to hold on to the ball to either take the player on and go on the outside or stop go backwards and bring the other players into the into the game and I, and I thought the Mar- the Gray was similar very very wasteful on the ball very very wasteful I think he had one opportunity when we played the ball over the top and he, you know, he fronted up the defender and took a deflection and went wide. But it just doesn't work for us. It really doesn't work for us. We're not good enough. And I know, listen, people will go, oh, you can, you know, they didn't have a striker or Man City. Don't. I've seen that. Like, Man City are amazing. Like, Chelsea were toothless today without a striker. Because we stopped all the gaps. We cannot play without a striker. It's as simple as that. And I thought, when Ali came, Deli Ali came on, I thought he was, he 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 got into the game more, but he kept on dropping deep. It was so reliant on that out ball, that player over the, to have that ball over the top, to someone who can get us up the pitch and hold on to it for us and give us an, a, the chance to the, play, the other players to get up the pitch. It's so obvious we need a centre forward. It's huge. I know Brozier came on for them, and listen, if ever I'm going to get that deal done, they need to get it done. If they're not getting it done, get someone else through the door. Get someone else in, because we are desperate for a striker. And I know Ellis Sims scored a couple of goals today for Sunderland, and a lot of people will say, well, why didn't we keep it? Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have kept them to the end of the window, just to see how things panned out. We, haven't, you know, we didn't have a striker on the bench, so we were just, apart from Delhi, we were toothless. And, and I know we were playing against a good side, and listen, but Thiago Silva, he's about 47, and he played with his slippers on today. So, so Dwight, Dwight McNeil, I thought he did okay. Just was, you know, nice little, nice few nice little touches, but he just couldn't get it onto that left foot. Obviously, starting on the on the inside right, um, I've given him a six and a half. Uh, Anthony Gordon, I've given a five and a half. Honestly, I thought at times, I thought he was really, really poor. I know he did the chasing and the hurry and all that kind of thing. Sound, I expect that from you, but I just don't think it worked. I'm not saying it was his fault, by the way, because I don't think he's, he's not a centre forward. But there was times when he wasn't even like jumping for the ball or anything, and he was making it so easy for their centre backs. But if you're a player playing the front, you've got to hold on to the ball and bring other people into it. You've got to. And I just don't think he did that today. And Damari Gray, I thought was was was. I've given him a five. I just generally thought he was. Some of the choices he made were just really, really poor. And when you get the ball against a team like Chelsea, you've got to keep hold of it. You've got to. And listen again, the system wasn't perfect for the three of them uh, at all, because you need that centre forward to play off. So I'm not not actually saying it's not their fault as such, but. You've got to do better. We've got to do better in those areas. And they did work hard, but the thing is, right, every footballer, right, we've got to get this start getting this into our head, right? Every footballer should be given 100%. They just should be. So you can't... I'm not I'm not prepared, right, to sit here anymore and go, but he give it 100%. You're a Premier League footballer. You should be given 100%. I want to start seeing more out of these players. I want to start seeing more out of Anthony Gordon. I want to start seeing more out of out of, out of Damari Gray. Do you know what I mean? Anthony Gordon's backed himself. He's got the number 10 shirt. He's given himself a silly haircut. He's backed himself. I want to see a little bit more than hard work now. I want to see... For me, just having the ball and then just losing it aimlessly because you haven't got a trick to take someone on or try and get past someone's speed. I don't think that's good enough. You know, we can't... We can't sit, we can't just sit here and go, oh, you worked hard. You just can't do that. You can't do that anymore. You've got to do more than work hard. Richarlison worked hard, but look at the extra stuff he did. And that's what you've got to expect out of these players now. If these players want to go up to the next level, and, you know, they've got to start creating chances. They've got to start scoring goals. We've got to, as fans, start expecting more out of these players. And those players might start giving us that, that little bit of extra. You know... As far as I'm concerned, listen, I, players should be working hard. Hard. That's that's the the minimum. And I'm sick of talking about that anymore. You know, last season I, I spoke about that quite a lot towards the end of the season, but that's gone for me now. 
that should be the absolute base layer. You work hard, and you know what? You start adding the other things now. And I think, I think, um, I think Gordon and Damari Gray just let themselves down today with with just not understanding that against a team like Chelsea, you've got to keep hold of the ball because the re- the team behind them were working not only working their bollocks off, but we're tracking runners and we're making it hard. And you know, apart from one one penalty, you know, the penalty which was soft, the one opportunity they got, which if the lad had had a shot, by the way, would have fancied Pickford to save that, even though he was having a bit of a flappy day. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, Delhi, give I come on. I thought he give made some really nice touches. He's listen. The lad's got all the ability in the world. It's clear as day, but he's lost that ability to put it all together. I think, you know, he's not a centre-forward. He likes drifting off and coming into pockets of space. That's fine if you've got someone who can then run past them. And by the time he came on, I just don't think we had those players. And it's something that Everton have got to get into the team. They've got to get creativity in midfield and they've got to get a centre-forward. And obviously, they've got to get more workmen in the team, which is what we're trying to do. Um... So I've given Delhi a six. I thought a lot, of, a lot of really nice touches. No end product, sadly. He had one really good chance where I think can't understand why he didn't hit the first time. Got pulled back really nicely to him. I can't understand why he didn't hit the first time. It was a, it was a, um, it was a strange one. But you do look at him. I look at him certainly, and I don't. I, can't, I just look at him and think, why aren't you playing? What is? What is stopping you from playing? What's stopping the manager from starting you? Because I honestly thought he was nailed on to start the game today. Be- just because. Who else was there? You know, there's... Anthony Gordon wasn't going to go and sit on the centre-back's toes. The Marty Gray wasn't going to go and sit on the centre-back's toes. So it might have well have been someone like Delhi who can get the ball and hold on to it. So I've given him a six. Um, it's going to be interesting the next week or so to see what the manager does with them, um, with, in the centre forward position, um, Vinagri, I don't think he could really get into the game at all. He came on a, uh, on the left, and Michalenko went on the inside, didn't he? Don't think he could get into the game whatsoever. I've given him, I've given him a five. Just he just never got into it at all. Um, and Mason Holgate, I actually thought Mason Holgate played really well when he came on. We had they had about four or five corners, and he won. I think four of them or five of them. How many corners was he? He won every single one. And I thought he did all right today, to be honest. I think having, I think having Tarkowski next to him will really help him. But I thought he did. I thought he did well, Mason Hargate. He he looked like he was on it, and that's where we've been very critical of him. Um, he looked like he was on it from the start. I've I've given him a seven. So, yeah, I thought. I thought he he did well, and that's promising. Obviously, if he's going to have to play every week, I do think someone like Tarkowski will make him a better player because he'll have to be switched on and he'll have to listen. Um, but it, listen, not a, I think today was just a really tough game. It was a tough start of the season, having no centre forward, not having all your targets in to the team, made us. Um, quite easy to play against the times i thought chelsea obviously dominated the ball but they didn't make they didn't make chances at all you know they scored from a from a penalty and it wasn't even like wasn't even like he was right in on goal it was clumsy he got the wrong side and you know he pushes them over and as they made a couple of chances in the second half and Sterling had the closest one that was it so did we deserve to win? No. Did we deserve to draw? No. But Chelsea are a far more superior team than we are. And we've just got to get players in in the next few weeks now that we desperately need. We desperately need a centre forward. We could do with some creativity in the middle of the park. And obviously we're bringing in Onana and, and Garner, looks like, as well. So And then we go. do we go for Conor Cody now, considering we've just lost two centre-backs in one game. So lots to work out in the next um in the next few weeks. There's no need to panic. As I said, that's exactly the same performance today as that we played against City uh, Chelsea in April, sorry. 
It was just that today we didn't get the breaks. We didn't have either Charleston to put them under pressure and have that little bit of quality. And they they got their one chance through a penalty. And that's the difference sometimes. So it's a disappointing start to the season, but it is just day one uh, and, and we go from here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. There you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. Make sure to check out Baz's videos as well. Make sure to check out my instant match reaction from the ground, instant gratitude reaction. Uh, we should have some stuff from Frank Lampard coming on the channel in the next hour or so as well from his press conference. So make sure you check that out. We're just waiting for that to come through to us. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.